So the business model of the Access Materials Exchange is definitely applicable worldwide. We try to set up a standardized model, plus we want to create a circular economy not only for a company, not only for a country, but for the world. And we operate within the systems of the planet, planet Earth. So yes, this model is definitely applicable worldwide. I sometimes feel a little bit of pressure as a female entrepreneur. When I started, I didn't think it would make any difference being a woman. Uh, but I noticed that working in very traditional uh, sectors, people do treat you differently as a woman, especially as a, as a young woman. Um, and I feel like sometimes I have to jump through a couple of extra hoops before I am taken serious. Uh, but, but eventually I am. And I actually also like uh, setting a, an example for what is possible as a female entrepreneur. Yeah. So we actually had a discussion about how to define circular economy yesterday and we found an, a scientific article that said there's 114 official definitions already. So I don't want to set another definition. But for me, a circular economy means that you work within a system and that the system uh, adds to each other. So if we take an ecosystem, for example, a tree, if the tree dies, it falls down and there's a lot of other organisms that live of that and use the nutrients and make it into something else. And that's, there is no waste in a circular economy because there's continuous loops, not the same thing, but continuous loops doing something else. And that for us is a circular economy. That is also what we want to achieve with the excess materials exchange. So the objective for the Excess Materials Exchange is that we actually want to eliminate waste from the dictionary. We, we want to reinstate waste for the valuable resource that it actually is. Our biggest success until now is creating huge coalitions of, of big companies that with us develop this new market and this new economy and try with us on how we can do things differently and truly create a circular economy worldwide. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And I think what we're doing now is trying to really do something different and creating a new result.